They are a great snack on the run. And for kids, they're pure fun. But where do they come from? And what are they made of? Norda Industries has been producing various Kenyan-made snacks since 2008 and has grown continuously in all segments of the market by maintaining the highest quality and innovative marketing. The corn curls start life as maize grits. This is semi-ground, locally grown maize with a coarser texture than flour. The maize grits are placed in this funnel-shaped container to be mixed with water and food coloring. The mixing process is precisely done to achieve the right moisture ratio as this affects the eventual shape of the corn curls. The mixed maize grits are then pumped 10 feet in the air for the next stage in the process, which is extrusion. The extruder is a machine which compresses the maize grits with a piston called a screw through a small heated form called a die. The compressed maize grits contract and then under heat and pressure suddenly expand rapidly. A rotary knife at the end of the extruder cuts the expanding maize grits to the right length. The process is so quick it's hard to see, even at half the speed. And here we can see the familiar shape of the corn curls. They may look ready, but the corn curls now have to be baked to cook the maize and remove all the moisture that is making them sticky. The corn curls then drop into a gas-fired oven, baking them at 160 degrees to achieve that crunchy and soft texture. The rotation realizes an even bake and keeps the corn curls moving along the production line. This process uses less than 10% oil, which is much healthier than frying. After baking, the difference is clear. In the flavoring drum, the corn curls receive an even coat of flavor, depending on the batch being produced. This drum carries the tutti frutti flavor. Again, this automated process regulates the amount of flavoring to only 8%, which is at par with international standards. The corn curls are then dropped into the bulk collector to spread them out. This makes sure that they do not stick together and completes the cooling process before packaging. The flavored corn curls are now dropped into a computer-regulated conveyor belt. Sensors ensure that only trays without any product get filled. The conveyor tips the corn curls into the fully automated multi-head weighing machine which weighs exactly 20 grams of corn curls with an accuracy of plus or minus one gram. This is achieved by releasing corn curls from different heads that exactly add up to 20 grams. The 20 grams drop into a polythene plastic wrapper where it is flushed with nitrogen. This gives the corn curls a longer shelf life and maintains freshness. This nitrogen is produced at the factory from compressed air. The nitrogen flushed wrapper is then heat sealed to achieve an airtight bond. The individual wrappers are then bagged for storage and shipping to your local shops. Tamutamu Corn Curls, made in Kenya.